Hi, this is Deborah Peters for the Deborah Peters Show. Welcome back. So happy to have you join me. I have some new material for you today, and I want to thank all of you for viewing yesterday. I want to thank all the shares and the likes and the support and the love. I really appreciate it. You know, it's been something that's been inside of me all of my life to actually launch this. And, and I've been waiting. I've been waiting for the right time. I've been waiting for me to come into this place within myself where I could just be full on raw and real and authentic and transparent as I do this so that it's not about the ego and it's not about um, just saying words that maybe I think you want to hear. It's really about sharing everything that I've experienced in my life and all the, you know, all the experience from coaching businesses all over the world and helping um, business leaders expand and grow and create, 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 create. So thank you, Dennis, for joining me. So good to have you here. I'm going to do my best to keep this to 15 minutes. Um, and as we grow and we develop the following, then we'll look at maybe extending it to a little bit longer time, depending on how that works out. Today, I'm, I'm doing a different time slot because I, I'm really feeling this out to see what works for all of you. And I would love to know what fits best into your life and into your schedule. Um, I can easily do this at any time of the day, um, but I want it to be able to be the most advantageous to all of you. So I'm a business accelerator. I've been coaching companies all over the world in 16 countries for about the last 20 years plus, and um, many, many different industries like financial, um, luxury markets, the super yacht industry, the jet world, um, um, tech companies, automotive, luxury automotive, um, medical, physician groups, um, real estate, and, and the list goes on and on and on, law enforcement. And what I've experienced in this process is that there are some really distinct, definable steps and tools and constructs within every business that absolutely must be put in place. And it doesn't matter where you are on the planet. It doesn't matter what language you speak. It doesn't matter. You know, everybody thinks that their business is unique. And I get this question all the time. It's like, well, have you done anything in this industry? Have you done anything in this industry? And it's like, there's some really basic fundamentals here that have got to be put into place, regardless if you're selling a service, regardless if you're selling a widget, it's, it, it's, there are fundamental pieces that absolutely have to be put into place. And these are the fundamental pieces. I just want to give them to you kind of as an outline. And then as we do every episode of the Deborah Peters show, I will go into more in-depth um, structure and strategy around each of those pieces. So first and foremost is the mindset. Hands down, you have to have your mindset in order or you will suffer. And I've watched a lot of business leaders suffer because when you're working against yourself, when you are going against the flow, as it were, then that is when you really start to feel the pain of trying to grow your business. And that's where the the brain fog comes in. That's where the spinning of the wheels comes in. You know, one thing that I've observed that is a really big element to this is typically when companies are starting to struggle a little bit or a lot, rather than shift their thinking, what they do is they rework their strategy. But here's the deal. You can have the greatest strategy, and I talked about this yesterday. You can have the greatest strategy but if your mindset's not in order, if you're not in alignment, then that strategy is not going to work. So before you go spending money 
on, on recreating a strategy from a misaligned place, then just kind of step back and start to look at the mindset piece, the, the consciousness of the, of the business. So if the business leaders are conscious, then the business will become conscious and you'll attract conscious clients. What are conscious clients? They're, they're clients that aren't looking to be saved and they're coming into working with you and, and developing a relationship with you as your client from a place of collaboration. And that's a much healthier place to have your clients come from. You'll get a lot less uh, struggle and pain and, and pushback if you take clients that are already in alignment or really close to being in alignment and you can actually help them help them go there. So the difference, you know, kind of where this all shifts in terms of the mindset is, you know, in, instead of grinding it out, I would really like to eliminate that phrase entirely. There's nothing, there is nothing um, noteworthy about grinding it out. If, if that's your claim to fame, then you know I'm here to tell you that you're kind of missing the boat. That you could be actually in flow. And uh, how do you get into flow? Well, the difference between driving forward and being called—that's the difference. Now, when you're looking at the mindset of your company, are you drivers? Are you driving? Or are you being called? And the only way you can answer that question is to look at your leadership. What exactly are you creating and from what space are you creating it? I just uh, had um, a client, a prospective client, complete our business accelerator um, assessment. And I'll pop it into the chat for you guys. So they just completed that and they, 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 one of them has a lot of honesty in answering the questions and the other one thinks that everything is just perfectly fine. Yet they, you know, it's it's the tail wagging the dog, and they're they're constantly running around in circles trying to figure out what to do next because they really don't know. They really don't have a plan. They really don't know how to get into alignment. So here's what happens. So you launch the business and you're super excited and thrilled about it, and you launch it from a place of being called, right? You're being called to take your idea, your gift, your talent into the marketplace and do something with it. And then you get challenged. You know, a challenge comes up, a roadblock, a choke point. And you look at it and go, whoa, we don't know how we're going to solve this because you're so invested in the problem that you lose sight of the bigger picture. You lose sight of the calling. So then you try to compensate with a lot of activity and a lot of action steps. And that's when you turn into a driver and then the struggle sets in because you can only drive so much and then you start to wear yourself down. Because really this idea of not having enough energy in your life to do the things you want to do, it's a program. It's a program that you've been fed that you've bought into that's keeping you stuck and it's not real. You can pretend it's real and you can make excuses for your lack of uh, um, alignment with your greatness, or you can just look at it as being a program that you've been fed, that you bought into, and then just make a new choice. Just decide to not buy into this idea that you don't have enough energy to create the things that you wanna create. It's kind of like the difference between, um, and these are subtleties, you know, when it comes to mindset. And some people might say, ah, oh, it's semantics. It's like, okay, fine, make it semantics. The bottom line is, are you getting the results that you want to get? Do you have the ROI on your efforts? Because if you're still trading time for money, if you have to show up every day for the dollars to roll in the door, you really don't have a business. You have a job, you have a self-created job, and it's okay if you want to have a job. The thing is, what do you really want to create for yourself? Like seriously, what are you being? And what are you not allowing yourself to be that you could be? So maybe it's time to ask, 
for that support to come in, ask your higher self to bring to you the resources you need to create the results that you want to create. So mindset is a really big piece. And this is where most pretty much 99% of people get stuck because then they try to compensate with massive action and, and doing a lot of behavior and changing behavior. But if at the core of that behavior is lack, doubt, fear, loss, then that's where the struggle comes from. You kind of, it's kind of like swimming downstream and swimming upstream simultaneously. So once we get the mindset piece started, and I'm not going to say anything beyond that, it's about starting the mindset because the mindset piece is a journey for a lifetime. You're going to need to consistently up level your neuroscience every single step of the way. When we build out your business model and we identify your biggest objectives and we put those into place with your annual strategic plan, you are going to feel so challenged and you're going to be scratching your head, asking yourself, how am I going to do this? Like, I have no idea how I'm going to do this. That's where the mindset piece comes in. That's where being in alignment comes in. And that's where the value and the worthiness of taking the time every day to meditate and to get yourself into a space of alignment. Because when you get the energy sorted, then all the rest flows for you. If you look at nature, for example, so nature is all about flow, right? If you look at um, trees that uproot and, and disrupt sidewalks, the tree just grows and whatever is in its way, it shifts and deals with. So going around these choke points and going around these roadblocks is really a mindset. It's not about how much action you take. You know, that's why the common time for people to have heart attacks is 8 a.m. Monday morning because they're so out of alignment with themselves and they're overcompensating with action that really doesn't fulfill them, it doesn't honor them, and instead of fueling them, it actually sucks their energy. I really would like to have you jump on my YouTube channel and um, grab my all my different tools that are there because I've just uploaded so much free content and I will continue to do that for you all you have to do is get over here and subscribe. And I'm going to drop the link in for you. I'm just copying it right now. So you can jump in here and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. And it'll give you so many resources that I've spent my entire life traveling around the planet, dealing with different time zones and, and different companies and different industries in different cultures and scaling these businesses and these companies and taking them to a level of thriving. And I, I would be just so honored to be able to share that with you. So I'm keeping this short. We're, we're getting into 13 and a half minutes here. I want to be able to have you ask any questions that you might have. Feel free to message them to me um, in the link that when I do the share on this video. And I, the other thing that I would uh, encourage you to do is to bring your team around you and have them go ahead and fill out that business accelerator assessment. You know, even if we never work together, that assessment is such an eye opener. And it's going to have you start to think about all the areas in your business that are weak points that really do need to have some kind of visit on and some sort of strategy built around. Getting your systems in place are really key. See, I look at mindset as being part of a company's structure. So as part of the business model, we're putting the mindset in play. And then we build out the value proposition. And we look at the rest of your business model, like who your key partners are and who your um, key resources are, what your key resources are. And, and identifying your customer segments and running an avatar of those customer segments so that you have clarity. Because you have to know what your customer segments are. And running an avatar is the most clearly defined way 
to have that intel so then you can actually develop your marketing strategy beyond that. So there's just so much to be able to cover with you and I wanna keep these to 15 minutes. And I really would like to encourage you to just be consistent with getting your personal development dialed. And my top ways of doing that are first of all, meditating and doing my energy pull on a daily basis. Get up in the morning before you start talking to people or looking at your phone, take the time to meditate and do the energy pull. And then secondly, get fit. If you're not already on a fitness plan, please get on one. Find something that works for you. Personally, I love to go to the weight room. You know, I'm right now I'm halfway through my second round of 80 day obsession. So I committed to 80 days. I did the entire program and then I'm on day 40 of the second round of 80 day obsession. It's a lifestyle. What happens when you exercise vigorously on a consistent basis, like six days a week, you actually change your body chemistry. You change your brain chemistry. It changes how your brain fires, it changes how your organs work, it changes how your systems flow. And frankly, toxicity in the physical body is toxicity in your thinking. So it, it actually elevates you. We all know it creates endorphins, right? So it takes you to a place of being more positive, more loving, more connected to your body. And then dial up your nutrition to support your fitness, okay? So, you know, whatever negative foods and beverages you've been consuming, just start to wean those off. You don't have to go cold turkey hardcore, but you do need to start weaning them off because you need the nutrition to support not just the physical exertion you're going to do during these workouts, but the mental commitment that it takes when it's hard. Because it's going to be hard. It's going to be tough. It's going to be difficult. You're going to feel like you just can't continue. Trust me. I know I'm, I'm there. And yet when you push through to the other side, it's like you create this relationship dynamic with yourself that makes you freaking unstoppable and nothing can get in the way of you feeling unstoppable, but you have to cultivate that. You have to foster that. You have to nourish that. And sometimes it's a moment to moment basis. I live my life in 10 second increments. So if I'm having a bad moment, that's 10 seconds. I can choose a whole new moment in the next 10 seconds. You can start over every 10 seconds, okay? You don't have to wait until the end of the day. You don't have to wait until tomorrow. You don't have to wait until Monday. Just make a decision to decide at the very least. Make a decision to decide. All right, my friends, we're rolling into 18 minutes and I love you and I'm so blessed to be able to share this with you. I'm absolutely thrilled to, to actually give this to myself. You know, I've been wanting to do this for a long time and I've, I'm doing it and I invite you to be a part of it and I so appreciate you sharing. So thank you, love you, have a blessed day. Ciao.